the way that I kind of look at things from a philosophical standpoint on offense is um, how do you combine uh, kind of open sets with crease base sets? Um, and then how, how much transformation can you go from one formation to the next within a set versus plays in which we're actually looking for a specific um, primary option, then a secondary option, then kind of a tertiary option. So the thing that I like about the, the two circle Right, is you know, in, in, in terms of just functionality, especially at the youth level, you know, these passes around the perimeter are, are fairly easy to complete. The other thing that I, I like about this, in terms of uh, it, gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of options uh, in terms of kind of what you want to go into. Uh, but what you're starting to see a lot of teams now is play within pairs out of this, and this is what I think. Uh, a lot of people will kind of find attractive in terms of playing out of this is basically you're looking at, you know, there's a set of pairs there, there's a set, a set of pairs there, kind of, and there's a set of pairs there. So in terms of like how you want to teach this and coach this, um, it's very, very easy to take a six on six and if you can boil it down to, to three two-man games, um, people are a lot easier to be able to kind of adapt within those roles. Um, so in terms of kind of what you're looking for out of, out of this, this two circle with these pairs, right? You're basically looking at, you know, a pass and then it playing inside out, engaging away, and then kind of reattacking here. What I don't like about this pass down, pick down is I, I think it's way too predictive um, and it's, the, the defense can see it coming the whole time. Whereas if you swing the ball, counter if you swing the ball counter to where that you where you want to go so you've swung it this way and on this pass or even a pass earlier this player goes in before that pass now this player can catch and immediately engage in that two-man game off of an adjacent pass where if he th passes down cuts in and then comes out the pick it's, a, it's much easier for the defense to recognize that and be able to communicate through it as, it, as opposed to an adjacent pass and then boom, now, the, now we're right in that. Now obviously, you don't have to pass down, pick down. You can go in and then up. The key here is this guy's gotta get it tight enough, right? He's really like, from a scale standpoint, he's really like actually getting about mm, maybe three yards off of this pipe in terms of spatially. Like, he needs to get in as much as possible so that he's got, when this guy comes off of this down the alley, he's not so wide. If this, if this is too wide, then you're running just kind of into the ether here. And then the exact same rules apply. When this guy carries here, right, he can, he can hang or he can cut through or he can fade. And this guy just basically reads that. If he stays, he stays. If he cuts through, he comes here. If he, if he fades, then he's got to fill the crease. Now, if you don't want to mess around at all with any of these two-man games, whether your players aren't you know, very fond of them, not very good of them, very good at them, you could eliminate it altogether and simply just use cut-throughs, right, instead of two-man games. So if this guy, if we, as we swing it around, right, as we swing it around, this guy gets high, we throw across. On this dodge, he wants to go super early, super early, backside pipe and then curl back around. Okay, this player gets to the middle so he can go either way. But let's just say he goes down the alley here. Same deal with this player and these guys. I would just exchange this just so you have some sort of movement. Okay, but all you've created now is just a one-on-one -on -one with, with just a ton of space. So shifting gears to the 2-2-2 two, two, two here. Again, there's kind of three two-man games. You know, these, this is the kind of most natural right here. You know, you'll see a, a, a vertical 